Queen's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Capablanca Variation, 6.NBD 2007.00D5. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, gains more control over the e5 square, and strengthens the d4 pawn. e6 prepares the d7 d5 pawn push while also opening up lines for the dark squared bishop. c4 gains space on the queen side and center, and prepares to develop the knight to c3. This prepares the bishop for development. g3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop on g2, where it will sit on the long diagonal. BB4 plus develops the bishop, puts the king in check and prepares castling. This blocks the check from an opposing bishop. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. 0 to 0 secures the king on the king side and develops a rook. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is the last book move. Recaptures. It is good. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. This threatens to win a pawn. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. It is a mistake. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This is the only good move. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This ignores a better way to reveal an attack on a rook. It is an inaccuracy. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. This is the way to win a knight. This is the only move that works. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. That was a free knight. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This is the strongest option. It is best. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is best. This creates a threat to win a pawn. It is best. This evades the check from the queen. It is forced. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is good. This is the way to win a queen. It is excellent. This moves the queen to safety. It is excellent. This captures a vulnerable rook. It is best. Takes back. It is excellent. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. 
White really outplayed Black in that one. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. 